Finally, we have our last privileges, and we're going to be talking about necessity. There's a couple other privileges that we didn't focus on because they're pretty straightforward. It's, you have the privilege of authority of law. You have the privilege to discipline, so a parent can discipline their child. And you have the privilege of justification, meaning if the actions are justified, then that's a privilege against the tort. But let's focus on necessity. Uh, there are two kinds of necessity. There's a public necessity and a private necessity. And there's two cases that we focused on. The first is Sukaro and the Ngiri. And the big takeaway from this is that if there's a situation necessary to protect the public good, you can uh, take an action that's going to uh, protect the public good and you're not liable as a tort and you're not liable to the defendant uh, to compensate. And so you're not liable to the plaintiff to compensate for any damages that they uh, occurred as a collateral of this necessity. So this is most often going to be discovered in cases of natural disaster. If there's a wildfire, if there's a flood, if there's an earthquake, and the city or whoever it might needs to be deems it necessary to protect the property of others or to protect the interest of uh, the public good in general, that a property needs to be destroyed. In this case, what happened is that there was a wildfire, and it was consuming one house, the house that was being consumed, uh, the person approached it and blasted it, destroyed it, uh, as the plaintiffs in this situation were trying to recover uh, items. And had it not been blasted, they would have been able to recover all their items. So they were suing for damages for the lost possessions. But the court said, nope, this was a public good. It was necessary to protect the rest of the property. The house was going down anyways, so there can be no recovery. The second is a private uh, a private necessity. And yes, people have a privileged private necessity, but it's different. So if a person acts out of necessity to protect their own life or property, uh, they, they have that right. They have that privilege. However, if it causes damage to another person's property, uh, it, they're not guilty of the tort, but they need and to p compensate for that damage caused. So really it's just saying, we're, we're not going to hold you accountable for your actions because you had to do it, but because you did it, it you, you need to kind of pay up for it. And finding that balance between saying, really, this isn't going to go on your record, but you need to re help them recover for any damages that are going to be caused. So that's the difference between private and public. Um in public is out of necessity, there's no compensation owed to the plaintiff. In private, if it's out of necessity, uh, they do owe damages to the plaintiff, although they are not held liable. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Law Schoolers. Before I let you go, there are four things I want to say. The first thing is if you enjoyed these episodes and if you enjoyed the website, I would invite you to go and join Law Schoolers Pro, and you can do that by going to lawschoolers.com slash join. It's a way for you to support us, but there's also a lot of features there that I think you will enjoy. Second thing is that nearly all of our episodes are unedited. The only ones that aren't are pre-law materials, and the reason for that is so you can actually see the legal material in its raw form as I'm learning it as well. The third thing is that the information contained in these episodes are specifically only for educational purposes. They're not to be used as legal advice. And with that, the fourth thing is if it is used as legal advice, we are not liable. That is, law schoolers is not liable for any legal outcomes. Thank you again for enjoying the show. Have a good one.